Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Arizona. And with that, who am I with today? I'm with Charlie. Charlie, say your last name. Arola. Arola, former sheriff. So the uh, sheriff's car in town, or former sheriff's car in town, he likes that uh, rear engine stuff. What did you bring today? I brought a uh, 2014 Porsche 911 Turbo S. And this one has a unique color, so it matches his ambiance and his place here. What's the color of this one? It's uh, oak green metallic. <laughs> Take a look at this. So, Charlie, before we go too far, I want to just feature you. How long have you had this one? Uh, I've owned it since August of 2017. Okay, and we're going to talk a little bit about the little baby blue one in the background because that kind of started you back in high school. You took a Porsche to what was it? To my senior prom. And that started the... Love of Porsche. The love of Porsche. Come right alongside me. So we'll get the blue one. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe to the channel for that matter. And you'll see. Well, you can read those plates and figure it all out for yourself now, can't you? Now, sh that was a racetrack in Germany, yes? Yeah, that's the famous Nürburgring uh, racetrack in Germany. That's the nickname for it. And there you go. So, we have the old school and then the beauty of the new school. Now, this one, let me show it from the side. All the perfect Porsche feel. And I'm moving back just a step. Let's see you can take that in with the Simon. That's delightful. Now Charlie, what, how did this one become available? How did it land in your collection? How did this all happen? I just happened to uh, look online at a, a website that uh, sells uh, used Porsches, and this one popped up the very first day that I uh, went to that website, and I fell in love with it. Look at the size of that rotor. It is the entire size of the rim. What's the horsepower on something like this? 560 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. Wow. I wasn't expecting you to see 560. Does it give you, uh, and we're going to see some things, but the beauty of it is I want to show, obviously there's a little bit newer Porsches and things like that, but I wanted to feature this one too because it was such a unique color, so striking, and you can see the technology. We're looking at it, it's looking at us. Preston. The wonderful mirrors. So, Charlie, may I? Of course. Okay. It feels so good, right? Let me just show people that door. Let me ask you a question. When you're driving this one, what are you feeling like? Feeling real good. <laughs> What's the reaction from people? Uh, people love the color and uh, they appreciate uh, the newer Porsches. Now, people around town know you as a kind of a hot rod guy too. I mean, you're an American car guy. I'm a big American car guy as well. We'll feature a couple of those, but uh, this is where it all started. So now my question is, from being connected to the German engineered car here, how did you end up being... An American car lover also because usually it works somewhat in reverse do you either really love foreign cars or you really love American cars you love all of them yeah I'm pretty much a car guy through and through <laughs> you've got the bug I want to show you that let me give you an overall We have the key on the left-hand side, properly done. That oh, feels wonderful. Now, were there other options other than the Turbo S? Like, I mean, obviously there was a non-Turbo. Uh, there, yeah, there, uh, there was the uh, Turbo S, there was the regular uh, 911. 
and they made a 911S uh, wide body, and I believe they also had the Targa at that time too. Okay. Instrumentation, everything just, I mean you can feel the fit and finish, right? I mean, so well done. What's the little box over by the passenger side? Is it a fuse box or something? That's a fuse access panel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paddle shift, airbag. Let's open up the uh, the trunk. And we have a few little trunk and treats for you. So first of all. There's your trunk. We have your certificate of authenticity. Like so, so you can pause that. And then here's the options. Here's your 2014 911 Turbo S. I'll kind of take each section at a time. car and here's your options twenty miles per gallon etc etc beautiful now one thing you yeah, have your Porsche badge there Let's take a look at the engine compartment. Just my opinion, one thing the Americans know how to do pretty well, for that matter the Italians know how to do pretty well, is show your engine compartment. But here, <laughs> that's all you have. Literally, Turbo S, 3.8, your venting, a couple of fans, Tells you what mobile one, your oil. So the only person who, person who works on this is the dealership. I show that one badge right there. And it shuts just in time. All right. Charlie, it's time. To, let's shut the uh, trunk, please. Just noticing this too while we're doing that. The interior is spectacular. The look is spectacular. The fit and finish is spectacular. The engine compartment needs a little, a little something to see. Let's fire it up though. sleep on that noise that's a wonderful sound that's actually the sport exhaust now this is the quiet one. Oh, give me the quiet one Shut that. Let me just do this over your shoulder. Show 
there. I just want to show the infotainment. And we'll shut that down. Charlie, stay right there. It looks, I'm going to put you right in your car. Charlie, what a treat to come out to your place. Always fun to see you. Thanks for having another great car. If people like what they see, go to the website, My Car Story with Lou. You can subscribe to the channel. We'll get you the email. Charlie, thanks for being on My Car Story. You're most welcome. Glad to have you here.